Welcome! So in this video I'm going to quickly explain to you what the difference between SUM and SUM community is. So the first important part to understand is that SUM itself is a, an Android or iOS app, so it's an application, and uh, SUM can be classified as a non-custodial software wallet, meaning that the creators of the SUM app have no control over your keys, so you're in full self-custody. So when you create an account in SUM, you either have a family seat, the mnemonic, or the secret numbers, and all these things are stored on your phone. And the creators of the sum app have no access to your account. You're in full, like I said, it's non-custodial. You have full control over the entire account. And if you lose your secret numbers, you won't have access to the account anymore. And some, the sum support can't help you with that. So that's the first part. Like I said, it's, you could compare like the, the SUM wallet to the Trust wallet, or to the Coinbase wallet, or to Exodus, or to the, to the Atomic wallet. So this, uh, this is a software wallet, right? So it has a integration, so people, developers, could also offer uh, a SUM integration, so you can just scan the QR code, and then uh, authenticate to the website. Uh, free, what is it, free DAF? Uh, damn it, I always forget, yeah, is it that one here? No, it's, damn it, I will just quickly look it up. Short the FOMO, short the FOMO, what's the website? I always forget the website name there. I will quickly look it up. FreeXOP.dev, my bad. All right, FreeXOP.dev, that's the name. All right, so there's, for example, this website made by Short the FOMO, so another developer in the XOP community. And he created this website to display the, the, the flow of transactions. And he is also offering a possibility where you can log in. So it's a login with some, and you can click on, if you click on that, you can scan the QR code. So there's a, there's a some integration, but it doesn't mean that some more or less is endorsing a certain website or not. But it's offering developers to have this integration. With the, and that's one important part to understand here. All right, so let's go back. And then there's some community. Some community is also a website which has an integration. And it's very important to understand there's a project by Nixer FFM. So please understand, he's the developer of the website. <coughs> Even though the website is some community, if you have problems with some community, you shouldn't contact the some support. Uh, you should rather contact Nixer FFM, but usually he always fixes bugs very quickly. So that's very important to understand. And it's the same concept here. He integrated. Uh, he, he used this sum integration in order to help you to do more advanced stuff with the extra Ledger. Just for example, the possibility of setting a trust line or set, doing an account set transactions, a transaction. So there are multiple ways how you can interact with the extra Ledger. And it's important to understand that the transaction is being prepared and you can scan your QR code. Uh, but sum, like I said, so the, the sum app is not endorsing anything here. And also, if you also see, for example, if you see uh, trust lines on Twitter having a link to some community, so usually, uh, well, let's go quickly to XML tokens here. Okay, it's running a little bit laggy on my end. Um, right, so if we go to the XML tokens tab here, um, yeah, it's loading, all right. <laughs> let's see. Okay, perfect. And if you then go to, if you then go to, to any, if you then go to any part here, for example, for the ELS or solo and so on, if you go click on this ELS, then a link is being generated. And more or less some community has been called with some parameters with the issuer and the, uh, the currency and the limit. And the important part to understand there again is, wow, it's like my computer is, I think, bugging. Okay, if you're there, then again, this is just preparing a transaction here, but it doesn't mean that some community is supporting a certain trust line. So I've read it on Twitter, many people say, yeah, why does some community scam people? Some community isn't doing anything. Some community themselves, they're offering a tool for anybody to use, and everybody can send these links around with the issuer, currency, and limit, and people can set, then set a trust line using the SUM app. But SUM has nothing to do with some community, and some community is not endorsing any project. They are, like I said, offering tools and people can use these tools and it's, that is, this link is usually being sent around on Twitter in order to to uh, make to make it easy for people to set the trust line because otherwise you could offer people yeah well please go to tr set trust line and then put all this stuff in there you have to put the issue in the token currency code and the amount but that's for many people a little bit too difficult and it's easier if you just send out the link here and then have them just click on confirm and then si uh, then scan the QR code and swipe that's easy 
easier and that's the only reason so like i said please understand some is not some support is not able to recover your family seed or or mnemonic or anything like that they are like i said producing a non custodial software wallet and if you have questions about the app you can ask them if some community isn't working then you can contact nix ffm and and like I said, he's not endorsing any project on the Exopalator. He's offering a toolkit, so a, a palette of many different tools you can use in order to easily interact with the Exopalator. And uh, yeah, that's all he's doing here. Uh, all right, so that's it for this video. I hope I made the differences clear. And I hope also to, well, I'm hoping for less ignorant comments, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.